I borked my Arch, uh, I'm trying to install NVIDIA on Wednesday, and uh, um, kind of playing around, figuring out how to do it, getting into things and that. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I was happy. I got, it went back to Nouveau for some reason, um, this laptop's not liking the driver that Arch wants to install. I think it wants to install the 390 or higher, and this one needs a lower current um, driver, and I'm not too sure on how to just do that. So this is just lasting through Monday anyway, and it's going to be on something else. I'm, I, I did my Arch. Yeah, I'm using sure. my older laptops, I just used the Novo drivers. There was no point in using the NVIDIA drivers. Yeah. <clears throat> Because last I heard, anyway, the NVIDIA drivers are only supporting, what, the 970 series and up? So anything older is not supported anymore, as far as I remember. My boombox. <laughs> it booms. I haven't, I haven't seen one of those in years. Boombox. <laughs> I play a lot of CDs yeah. still, but I want to come uh, to the 21st century. So it has built in USB support bluetooth i got it on amazon for like 70 bucks it's got built-in ba i mean bass boost this thing will crank uh so yeah i think they call these ghetto blasters <laughs> that's from yes the that's the they use the oh, I don't know. <laughs> right. yeah so uh anyway I like it, CD. Even as a cassette oh, my, player, you know the the tape, the tooth. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, some of us still remember what a cassette is. Yeah, really. Steve, uh, no sound. No sound, Steve. <laughs> I try to warn people about arts, but nobody listens to me. I haven't thing. found much yet. How's that now? There it's you go. Out. It keeps knocking out. Oh, well. I, on the other hand, have not uh, tried Arch. So. Okay. Yeah. So, Carmine, I, I'm watching CJ, who stole my idea. <laughs> I was going to have you in the background on the TV. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, that's fine. But um, are you wanting to go? So, I found out a couple of things. So, are you wanting to go into grid mode and record that way? And because if you, uh, uh, Eric Adams from uh, uh, um, Big Daddy, uh, showed me this one. If you go to the me, you know, go to me, go to three dots and go to me, and then go to the more setting in settings. Let me try that. It, if you more. select everyone follows me, ah, you can do the grid view, and then I think it stays on. Is it working? I just did it. So, uh, test, test. yeah, look at, look at back, look at, look back on CJ. <laughs> you can see it went into the grid mode. So if you do, everybody follow me. Test, test. When oh, you, the Hollywood squares. You change. Oh, like, like, like the Hollywood squares, like the Brady right. Bunch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, and then I found that, um, I yeah, I think it's better Bradley. this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I found that, um, I guess when you like you should be able to do it. So if you're seeing a reverse move, if you click on your your video uh, image, that your um, a box dialog box came up and said flip because I was playing around with it on Wednesday, uh, actually yesterday when uh, I was doing my stream in the morning and I'm playing with it afterwards. You should be able to, you know, if you're getting that mirrored image. I don't think I am. flip. Okay. No, I, you you look like you normally do. For me, it was like everybody was going, oh, your window's on the other side. Well, no, I, know, I like I'm, this. I mean, if it's only like me and you, I don't care. But when it's like a bunch of people, I think this this Hollywood Squares view is, I think, yeah. is better. <clears throat> um, so that so nobody gets cut out on the on that right grid. Right. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um. 
Let's see. Enter a nickname to use the chat. Um, stable. <laughs> All right. Hey, Steve. Very good. Steve, have you tried the recording option in uh, Jitsi? Uh, no. Can okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm on. I'm on my uh, arch. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, make sure. It's All like right. I'm it's going to be an unstable night. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, all of a sudden this week, everybody's doing Arch, you know, installs. Uh, yeah. Now, Steve, are you getting sound in both headphones, right and left? Test, test. Steve, can you hear us? Okay, Dan, I'm getting sound in both of mine. So. Okay. Steve, okay, I cannot hear you. You're on the Arch. I can't hear you. Hey Dan, you using USB or? Oh man! No, I'm using regular yeah, analog. Dan, you uh, were grayed out for a while. It's because I unplugged my headphones to check my speakers. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice music. Who's playing that? My friend from Pittsburgh, Jimmy Z, from the Jimmy Z Trio. Is you is or is you ain't using art? <laughs> Did you figure it out, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Did you install false audio? <laughs> you have to install. Well, first, you need to install Tylenol Plus, and then you go from there. You know. <laughs> can, can you can you hear me now? Hey, hallelujah! Yeah. Hey. Well, it's hey, funny. Yeah. So, in an arch, I have to have the internal microphone turned on to hear my headset microphone. So, yeah, it's no double echo or anything. Sounds okay. Not at all. Mm, no double no. echo. No. Sounds okay. Good. That's odd. I was actually trying to record this with the Linux plugin browser for OBS, but I got that double that dub, double echo, and I'm not sure how to do, stop that. Is that the first time you've ever tried to record with Jitsi? Yeah, I'm recording this using the built-in recorder with Dropbox. I just had to sign up with, with Dropbox. I, I hate signing up for more things, but yeah. it's a test. But like I said, I was uh, I have OBS up doing the whole screen, but I was trying to set it up where like it just records the jitsi you know stream but if i use the linux plugin for the for the internet i get the feedback i hear myself talk it's like a double you know like audio loop i'm not sure how to how stop that um i'll have to try it in linux i don't know i mean like in windows arch linux it's not it's not something i generally recommend for newbies in fact i won't um i haven't really had the time to really mess with it uh like pure arch as it were installing everything through the terminal to be honest i've been playing with the chrome os i'm still learning that a uh, little here a little bit there you know it's chrome os is superb it's it's flawless linux if there is such a thing as flawless linux it's chromebooks for chrome os it just just turn it on it just works i don't have to fiddle with anything you know, I got to learn. I still learn like a few tweaks and tricks here and there and a few apps. Uh, but Chromebooks, Chrome OS, I could see why Linus Torvalds wouldn't mind Chromebook or Chrome OS as a Linux standard for the masses. I could see why he likes because there's no fiddling. You don't have to f solve puzzles. It just works. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm impressed. All right. So let's get back to Arch Linux. Like I said, one, one of these days, I'll fiddle with it. Uh, I did see a, a video that DT did, uh, how to install Arch for beginners. He followed the Arch Wiki, and he pointed out two weaknesses on the Arch Wiki that m m may make or break the system trying to install it. You know, And um, I remember my technical writing classes that she said, the teacher said, these type of instructions should not be written by techies. They should be written by... English majors who understand English, you know, 
as it were. But that being said, Steve, you had failure and then success. Is, is that right? Yeah. How did it work out? Well, I, I guess I, I cheated. Um, I used this, uh, it's called Archfy. Um, Chris Titus, and when we were on Big Daddy Lennox last week, uh, it was in the room and uh, recommended uh, Archfy. And then I, I heard about the Zen Star, which actually pizza has done a uh, mm -hmm. video on. He's done, I think his thing this week was different ways to install Arch. Okay. So problem with like with someone like well, me or probably the average person is yeah. I don't always type really well, right? Okay. And I wasn't installing it in a virtual box. I was installing it on bare metal. And where the heck did bare metal come from anyway? But anyway, so copying, you know, and typing and looking at the commands and it's like, you know, you, you type one little thing wrong and you get bad command or whatever. So it was very simple with the ArchFi. Um, uh, it's on GitHub and you just like, um, basically I had to type in the wget command and, and um, follow it that way. But it's pretty much one long command. You get that, it, it, it grabs the script, and then you start it. It's uh, as simple as sh space archfi. You do have to be connected to the internet. Like I, I just connected it to my hardwire. And uh, it installed like a basic and then went through a script process. And you went through and started installing um, the basics following off this script fi. And it the first time I did it, I missed a couple of things uh, with the settings and that. Uh, and I, I did, like the first time too, I did do the NVIDIA driver and that botched it. I went back and reinstalled it. Then I missed a couple of things. I still miss like uh, setting up a user account. I missed setting up the sudoer. Um, but it was then easy for me. I didn't like use any commands. I actually went and once, once you get this thing, the basics done, you go into uh, it's Arch, Arch DI, and um, that that starts taking you through the installation process. Um, I just went back into that, found the stuff that I missed, and I was kind of done and, and happy. Um, but finding out, like, yes, because uh, one of the things that you are able to install is um, uh, um, Pulse Audio. But it doesn't install the POV control for changing your microphones. I had to learn how to do that. So, um, but that was basically a very simple process. And then instead of going through and typing in all your commands, um, okay. yeah. can a newbie still follow it? Nay, hey, you know, I, 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 exp I you know, I, I'm an experienced noob. And I wasn't doing it as a newbie. I was doing it as Steve. And, you know, it's like I was having issues. Like I, I couldn't figure out how to get into the terminal when I couldn't get into the login screen. And uh, okay. I guess in some, it's like sh uh, I'll control all F1, but it was, ended up being on mine F5. Okay. So I haven't had, I mean, the last time I did a full install of all arts based on my ThinkPad, a full install as a challenge i didn't have good luck i mean i it was manjaro a few years ago got it running but i kept fixing things you know i can't play m music fix that or music cds fix that couldn't do the updates i think i mean i mean you it's it shouldn't have to be that way once you have it installed and run all the updates it should be ready to go out of the box so after a few months, I told myself, you know what? It ain't worth it, you know? And I think a lot of the problems happened after I turned on the AUR, it seems, the Arch Useless Repository. It's a joke, <laughs> it's the Arch User Repository. But to be fair to Arch, when I turned it on, it did say warning. Uh, turning this on is, is dangerous or warning to your system or something. Of course, I cracked a joke, but, but I came prepared for that warning, and I grabbed the fire extinguisher and showed it. You know, But I haven't had good luck. Now, there's something new, uh, a new distro to replace Antergos. It's called, I believe it's called Endeavor. Mm -hmm. I guess that's easier way to install TriArcher Base. Now, it is a beta, so I may just test that versus spending a few hours 
trying to you know, do Arch from scratch, as it were, following the Arch wiki. I mean, I know I can do it. It's just a matter of spending the hours and the time. I just, I'm not into it now because, like I said, I'm still testing or running on my Chromebook, testing the, testing the Chrome OS, uh, and it's flawless. Like I said, if there's such a thing as flawless Linux, Chromebooks, they have nailed it, and I can see why they sell. Yeah, with with ArchFi, it still took me about two hours. Okay. Um, but then the second time, it took me about an hour. Yeah, and I probably in the future, if I would use it, it would be simpler. Right. Um, uh, when Pizza was showing the Zen installer, yeah, it was basically the same thing, but it was a nicer looking kind of a GUI that went with it. Okay. Um, so okay. It, 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 as a user, it might be easier to follow. Will I sit there and type everything in? I, you know, because I got I got a little lost in the wiki. I mean, it's supposed to be simple um, and laid out, but then there's no, a couple of links that you have to yeah, really watch out no, for. Like I said, our friend DT pointed out a couple flaws. Now again, I was watching it from the perspective of a, of a complete newbie to Linux, and those he played out he he pointed out a couple things that that he explained and did a great job. DT, if you watch this, rock on. But if the newbie doesn't know. <laughs> You know, that's why I said, um, and, and I remember back then when I had issues with Manjar, I went to the website and it was down or, the, or there, wasn't, there wasn't enough information there. And um, like I said, I may test Endeavor OS out of curiosity. Now, it'll probably have some bugs because it is a beta and that's okay. I know that up front. I don't have a problem with that. But one of these days when I, look, if I did this full time, of course, I would try to run Arch more, or maybe try to run it full time. I don't, I, but I don't have time to fix things over and over and over again. I just yeah, don't. keeping you know. maintenance on it, you know, just a simple thing. I mean, but I, yeah. I, I installed XFCE, and I, you know, I thought like Peppermint on Ubuntu ran lean. No, this was at three hundred and thirty-eight megabytes at boot up. Now I've been told yeah. Arch is fast. Um, I mean, it's it zips along because it's not you're not installing all the extra fluff, as it were. Uh, that you would find maybe like at an LTS, maybe, although Ubuntu Mate is fine, uh, you know. But, um, yeah, one of these days when I when I do have time, maybe I'll give Pure Arch a, a try, but not today. Yeah, and I guess um, I get, and probably one of the nice things, too, about it is you can <clears throat> um, install every desktop that you wanted and yes. then boot up just go in you know it's like okay i'm, yeah. I'm tired of mate today i'm gonna go into yes. that, you know and and uh, i i know there's some of the distributions you can do that with i think you know like debian yeah. and that so that is a kind of a plus you know you don't have to reinstall your system true um, right yeah debian has i believe have the net installer and you can choose which desktop environments uh that may be a little bit more beginner friendly than arch uh, definitely more stable if you choose Debian stable, um, you know, versus unstable, you know, branch of that. Um, but I mean, I remember a few years ago on, on this channel, I asked the community, I asked, pick, pick, pick the number one arch or pick the number one distro for the air. They picked arch, and I agreed. I completely, I completely get it to have total control of your system. It's just not something to give to a newbie to start no. off. But then, even uh, then, you have to. I mean, taking okay. taking the time and and installing everything yourself, and you know, that is appealing in a way to have total control. Uh, even as a Windows user, that's appealing. But do I need that total control from scratch? Um, I don't. If I did this full time, uh, would I would I try? Yeah, sure, I would. Why would I? Why would I not want to learn something new? But I don't have the time for it. I'm learning my Chrome OS. I'm going to stick with that as far as something new. Um, now, that being said, we've talked about our, any, any other th thing about Arch Linux that you want to talk about, Steve, or mention? Because you're the more experienced person here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slightly. So no, I mean, it's, it was... Um... It was interesting because I was, you know, I'm like, do, I don't have the time kind of with the way I try to do my channel, plus with the hours that I work. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop making excuses and I'm going to do it, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it a little more simpler, I thought, and, and do the um, script for way, um, which at first wasn't as fast because I hear it's about two hours. Um, 
when you're used to installing something in 50, less than 15 minutes and you're done, you know, uh, is a big difference. Um, you know, just, I guess if you're going to try it, you know, you just make sure that you have the time. Yeah. Um, and it truly is not that hard. You, the looking at it from the command perspective where you and me are so used to Ubuntu based, it's sudo app git. And we know, you know, now it's pack pseudo Pac-Man or yay, or, and you know, if you, depending on guys, what repository you have turned on, okay. you know, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's something, I mean, would I maybe in the future or I don't know, yeah. give it okay. a try, but fair enough. All right. CJ, I know you're not going to mess with Arch. How far have you gotten along with your Linux uh, adventures? Muted, you are muted. He's on Arch. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> cin what was it? Cinnamon and peppermint. Okay. Got it so long uh, ago now. Okay. All right. You did Linux Mint with cinnamon. Uh, I think, right? yeah. I think Very good. It was months ago now. I'm going to land on one of those because I okay. just don't have time. And then I decided for when school starts, yeah. I'm going to use Windows 10. Okay. I'm not, gonna, I'm not okay. even going to worry about yeah. Uh, right. See, we mentioned Arch more than three times, and Ben shows up. I know. By the way, <laughs> right. Well, one the one thing on Arch I found <clears throat> out is cause I've, I've done LFS, I've done Gentoo, I've done Arch, I've done Slack. But what I found with Arch is is actually pure Arch is easier to maintain than Manjaro. Wow. Every time I run Manjaro, I go good for two three months, then it just breaks. Now, oh, I run a pure arch okay. for two or three months. I don't have the issue. So I don't know if it's something Manjaro does or what. And I think yeah, even Dusk Geek said that too. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. what What I guess what the, um, I think I heard Ryan. Yeah, that's, he said um, yeah. that maybe something like Manjaro, it's still, it's like a system update, whereas with pure arch, it's a package. Your packages are updating and it doesn't mess with your system. Okay. I think that's well, the yeah, difference. I'm running it, yeah. yeah, I'm running it now. If that made and sense on my desktop, and yeah, I get packages. I don't get a system update. But it's just right. packages. Okay, I may get okay. one a day or four hundred meg in one day. It varies. It's not. And how long you've been messing with with day. Arch? You were saying? Oh, I've been messing with Linux for twenty five years. And Arch so that long? I've done them all. Oh, no, okay. I I did Arch when it first came out, and I got it running now. Okay. So yeah. And it works for you? Yeah, I have no issues. Arch? Oh, cool. Okay. But I did you turn on the AUR? Bro. I only turn the turn AUR on to get, get certain packages, then I turn it right back off. Ah, there's the key. Don't use the Arch useless. I mean the Arch user repository. The joke. Then you, the joke. Yeah. Then use yay command to you know, upgrade. It'll pull upgrades like Pac-Man does. Plus it pulls, if I remember correctly, okay. the packages you install from the AUR. Now okay. it don't update from the AUR. So does that okay. make sense? I don't. Yeah. I get it. You just turn it on when you, when you need it, and then you're done. Just turn yep, it off. Turn okay. it right back off. Okay. Well, there's a secret for Arch. Don't use the AUR unless you have to. However, <laughs> this is kind of uh, Ars Technica. Great website. It says okay. hard drive. Hard drive slash let me finish. Hard drive penetration testing takes on to shut up. Takes a new meaning when cyber meets Harlequin, romance novel, like Hallmark. <laughs> they they have to know, right? Okay, <laughs> what happens when a romance writer takes on the cyber's unintentional hilarity? Now, I don't want to go too deep in this, <laughs> but that's check it out. Can I? In fact, let me post this article. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, <laughs> penetration testing. Well, there you go. You tell me what you think. Uh, I won't read the rest of this, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a romance novel, and they're mentioning penetration test. I guess it's cyber espionage. I have, I have no idea. It sounds like a James Bond. Romance novel and penetration testing somehow don't seem to go together <laughs> very well. Well, that's why they posted it under hard drive. Uh, so, yeah. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I 
Steve's getting a chuckle out of this. 